Selfish Social Hour. And what the Selfish Social Hour is, one is us coming together and vibing off some high ass good energy. And then two, also uplifting and encouraging ourselves with good food and good conversations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the topic for Selfish Social Hour this time was I'm tired. I am tired. The other day, and it's been a crazy month. It's been crazy. Let me tell you, because when I said I'm tired to her, she said, ooh. <laughs> when I said I'm tired of her, she said, fuck. <laughs> and I said, okay, well, the topic of discussion is I'm tired. I, it ain't just me here, okay? And so what happened was I was cooking dinner and a thought came to my mind that kind of freaked me out a little bit. And I, I am one that is, I believe in the power of our words. So I didn't really want to say it out loud, but I got a good friend here. And I said, girl, I got to tell you this, but I'm kind of scared to say it because I don't want this shit to come true. <laughs> I said, I was in the kitchen cooking dinner and all of a sudden I saw myself, not fully, just a small little snippet of me laying in a hospital bed. That damn tired and overwhelmed because life just kept hitting me with one thing after another and after another. I said, I've never, ever, ever seen that before. I've never visualized that. I've never thought about that. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but something in my spirit needs to chill yeah. the fuck out yeah. because I'm doing too much and life is trying to tell me something. So I'm tired, hit my spirit. And I wanted to just have that conversation with you because I'm not affirming it, I'm acknowledging it. And there's a difference because we can walk around and say, I'm tired all day long. And guess what? I probably would be in that hospital bed because I'm tired and I'm broke down and, and life keeps hitting on me and I can't, can't seem to catch a break. And then we begin to affirm that and we say it over and over and over again. And the next thing you know, the conversations that you have spill out into the next people. And if you have people that are affirming that, we ain't gonna get any energized or rejuvenated. We're gonna be tired all day long. And so that's what this is about saying, you know what? I acknowledge that I'm tired. So now what? What we do now? for y'all to do if you don't mind I'm gonna bring y'all a card and so on the card it says the affirmation it says the affirmation and then it says um, I don't care if anybody's gonna receive it or not because right now it's about me and if I'm not here then what you gonna get from me anyway right Okay, I need to give me another drink. All right, who, now who want who wanna go first? Who wanna go first? Yeah, girl. Selfish daily, they're intentional. And they have an affirmation on one side and they have a question on the other side. figuring shit out as you go. Cause some days we try to overthink, like she said, we want to figure it out. We want to have it all together. We want X, Y, and Z. Then we want to research it. Then we want to go down this whole list and it needs to look this way. And then after you've done all that, you're like a year behind yeah. because you did not step into just figuring shit out as you go. And then realizing each step that you take, you're going to figure something else out or something else is going to come or someone else is going to enter that or another situation or, or opportunity is going to open a, n a new door. So it's kind of, it's that. All right. Okay. All right, Miss Naomi. Yes. yes. So 
Yeah. Selfish social hour. Like, what was, was your experience? It was amazing. Like, well, I, I'm, I'm excited for next month. Like, it, this was a good break. This is like amazing. The vibe, the people. It was, it was good. You, you're, you're amazing. Oh. And if you're not here next month or the other, like, you need to be here. This is the place. Yes. <laughs> Give me some love. Yes. Oh, look. Clearly, you can tell the energy. I'm right. just wrap the selfish social hour. Tell us your experience. All right. Bring it to me. You so, ain't got to keep it calm. I don't know. Hell no. Nah, keep hell. it like this. When I bust up in the building, <laughs> it was like bring that energy over here. Bring that high ass energy over here. That's what she said. But today was awesome. I had a great time. I felt like I went to uh, therapy and I'm going to do better. <laughs> but, um, it was great things that we needed to talk about in a safe space. Um, Awesome, awesome experience. I'm coming back. I'll be back next month. Get your ticket. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. It was awesome. Love it, Miss Courtney. Tell me, yes. tell me your thoughts on your experience. Oh my God, the selfish experience was amazing. If you haven't been, ladies, you need to come. It's a great experience. I'm not going to tell you what all we talked about because you need to come. And yes, I love every moment of it. Miss Laura did her thing, and I also met some great ladies. I will be back. Come through. See you guys. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I